Hi everyone, it's Dr. Guthels here, and today I wanted to give you a brief overview of Learn to Mod, the software. So this is our home page or your dashboard. On here you'll find a number of things. First, we'll have a play option. For playing, we have four things that you can do. You can mod, which is writing code. You can build schematics, which are 3D structures that you can place in your world. You can edit or create texture packs, which is basically like putting a new look to every single block item or creature or person inside of your worlds. And you can choose new worlds and in the future be able to upload your own worlds. Under quests, you'll find challenges that we, the Learn to Mod team, pose to you. These might be challenges based on the fact that you've never done a certain type of coding challenge or that you have never built a schematic. We might suggest that you go try it. When you do quests, you'll actually earn diamonds and experience points. These diamonds you can use to buy artifacts like little sidekick cats or even the ability to play in browser with your friends. Under the Learn tab, you'll find badges and classes. Badges is all of our coding challenges, which I'll show you in a later video. Classes are if you are a teacher or a student in a class, then you might have certain badges or certain challenges that the teacher poses to you, and you'll be able to find those here. Under the social tab, you'll have forums and publish mods. So forums is where you'll go to ask questions or see if other people have asked questions or just share cool mods that you've done. And published mods is what will show up whenever somebody looks for a mod that they want to find that they think is cool. And I'll show you that in a minute too. Then you can also log out. Up here in the top corner, we have a question or feedback Button. This is on every single page, so if at any time you get stuck, you can just ask directly here. Though, we recommend that you always have the forum tab open, too. Now, on the front page, we also see these four tiles. The first tile lets you know whether or not you are successfully connected to Minecraft. If you are, the tile will be green, and this little indicator here will be green, and it'll show your Minecraft name. The yellow tile shows all of the recent forum posts. The blue tab shows you how many coding badges you've earned. And the red tab is a quick way of getting into the artifact shop, which I'll show you later. Under your account, you can see your Learn to Mod nickname, all of the classes that you've taught or been a part of, and all of the badges that you've earned. Under the What's Hot tab, you'll see that we have a number of mods, worlds, texture packs, and schematics that we've found throughout the Learned Mod and Minecraft community, or that we've built ourselves. If, for example, you click on the mods here, find mods, the little um, icon there on the top left, you'll be taken to the curated mods, and these are all mods built by Learn to Mod staff or by um, Learn to Mod users that we found really, really neat. You'll also find user contributed mods. So I'll show you later when we make our own mod that you can actually publish your mods, make them public, and then other people can see them. For example, PyPy1215 made a fireworks mod and this mod looks pretty cool. If I wanted a copy of this mod, then I can just click on this tile here. If I liked this mod and wanted easy access, I could star it. And if I really liked this mod, I could actually rate it. So I could give it five hearts. Back on the home page, we have the same type of interface that we had for mods that I just showed you, but for worlds, texture packs, and schematics. Under the My Stuff, you'll see all of the mods, worlds, texture packs, and schematics that I've built. And then under the stars, just like I just showed you, if you really, really liked a mod or a world or a texture pack or a schematic, you can star it and then it'll show up right here so that you have really fast, easy access. For example, this zombie rush mod built by someone called Notch was pretty, pretty cool. This might not be the Minecraft Notch, um, but someone with a Notch nickname here on Learn to Mod. In the rest of this playlist, 
I'll be showing you all of these features. I'll go through each of the mod, schematic, texture pack, and world play items. We'll do a quest, we'll buy artifacts, and we'll do some badges too. I'll even show you how to post to forums and publish your own mods. So keep watching.